Genki Call here with the Sorcerer class trial for December 9th, 2021. If you need to unlock the class trial or unlock the class that is, Karakoth is right here next to Broken Spire. Easy to get to from where you start off in the game. Um, so we go into the class trial and let me show you what's in the shop, first of all. Uh, I never buy tiers here except when a new class comes out, like Elementalist, I bought a few tiers, but established classes I do not because it's all free experience um, all you have to do is play the game and you'll get the experience um, and then this weapon in this case the the monocon is available for 250 wins with sorcerer class and it just summons a random demon that's all it does and I'll show you the upgrades in just a moment um, do, 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 do as usual. I've done the first three rounds and I'm just going to show you two teams today. I'll do one with epics and below and one with legendaries. Um, we don't have a whole lot to choose from here because it's only demons that it's allowing. Um, Aborath is useless. Vash Dagon, you know, he's, he's okay. Um, he, if you want to play with him, absolutely. But Nyarmel is really going to be your best bet for this if you have him. And you can get him with your Chaos Shards down in Dwergaroth if you do not have him yet. And of course, if you have Chaos Shards and access to the Underworld. But as you can see, there's not much here. Um, so for the first team for people that don't have Nyarmel, um, I know you may not have this, but if you did the Umbral Nexus... Um, Faction Assault this weekend, you would have been able to get the Umbral Tome, and it does damage to all enemies. Forget the boost, we have nothing that creates Umbral Stars, but that's not the point. We do damage to all enemies, and that's what's important. Um, because the only troops in this entire setup here that we have to choose from, the only two that do damage to all enemies are Vash Dagon or Nyarmel. Mythic and Legendary. So... I highly recommend a weapon that does damage to all enemies. Just go in here and type in all enemies or A-L-L, -L, right? And then choose one. I recommend that you choose one that's yellow. So you can do Dancing Daggers. This is the Dervish class weapon if you have it. And then basically anything here that is yellow, but you could do blue here. You can put the Orb of Winter here. You can switch these two and you can uh, put a green weapon that does uh, damage to all enemies here. However you want to do it. So I tested this out. Works pretty well. I of course like the other team better, but um, I like Nyarmel to begin with. So uh, I am using Sorcerer Class for the class trial because I'm really close to getting it leveled up for an, an additional power level. Um, however, you don't have to use the class that we're doing the trial on. You can use any class here that you want. You can use um, Elementalist if you don't have it leveled up yet. You can use Titan or Sentinel or any class you want. Um, but I forgot to show you the troops. So I showed you I'm using the Umbral Tome here. Um, then we've got the Eldritch Guardian, who does damage to an enemy, gains life and armor, and if the enemy dies, get twice that. So gain 24 life and armor if the enemy dies. And then this is my mana generator here. This is the Nether Hound, and he does damage to the first enemy, hunters marks them, and you get 8 to 12 purple gems off of him, which is going to feed the team because all of them use purple. And then lastly... This is just in case things go south. I don't even think the Wall of Tentacles is necessary. Um, but he gains a bunch of armor and um, all of the other allies gain 2 magic and 5 mana. So if you need him, he's there. Um, if you just have no mana, you can always go for him and he will give you some mana. But that works pretty well. So I'm just going to hit him with the Umbral Tome and nearly wipe them out. We'll go ahead and uh, do this because he summons, and this. And then, sure, we'll go ahead and do this. Get a bunch of armor for him, and if things really go south, he is going to be really full of, um, really full of 
um, stats if we get down to him. Anyway, aha, let's do another one with this team. Then I will only have one Sigil left unless I get a Val Raven. Dun, dun, dun. So I'm going to move this up so that these two drop down so I'll have a match for. Dun, dun, dun. Besides, I can use yellow anyway. Uh, we'll do that. I hit him with the match four. Oh my god, I said match four. I meant this. Why is this 74 when it was... Do I have something giving me magic? Oh, 50% chance to gain one magic every turn. I forgot about that. That is sorcerer-centric there. Uh, yeah, I want to do this and get some mana so that I can take out these last two guys here. There we go. And do do do. Took him out. Didn't even have to hit him. That was one of the talents, I think. Ooh, I only need one more level to be able to power up my Babadu Hickey thingy. All right, I have to get a Val Raven here or I won't finish the fourth tier. It's only happened to me once, but you should be able to finish off all four tiers as long as you don't lose any battles and you don't lose any Val Ravens. Only once have I not been able to do that, so let's see. Val Raven, come on. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. So now I'll be able to um, finish this off, and that makes me happy. <sighs> All right. The secret with this team, and I didn't show it to you, the secret with this team is to fill up the weapon first. Now, specifically, this weapon for this team is really nice. Um, the Infernal Vogue is in the Soul Forge right now, and I love it, actually. Red and purple gems for demons, perfect. Especially since I'm using two Nyarmel who uses red and purple, and I'm using an all-demon team. It's fantastic. I crafted this because I needed an extra weapon for Karakoth, and so that worked out beautifully for me. So, if you use this weapon, I highly recommend going for either the first slot or the last slot, because Nyarmel does splash damage and if you take out one of these two you're going to be wasting damage so um because it can only hit adjacent ones that are right next to with the splash damage so if you splash water on this guy it's going to hit this guy and this guy but it's not going to hit this one all the way over here even if there's no if even if there's a space between them so that is my recommendation if you use the infernal vol volge volg Volg. All right. Anyway, I'm going to hit the Val Raven, of course, and take him out and look how beautiful it is. Oh, I usually get a match four with this, which is fantastic. So I'm going to hit her. I was hoping to take this one out. The nice thing about Nyarmel is that he does true splash damage. Not just splash damage, it's true splash damage. So even better. Very nice. All right. Let's do these last couple. I'll show you this. Um, more in detail. Now, you can use different weapons. If you don't have the Infernal Volge and you don't want to or can't afford to craft it, you can use whatever you want here. You can use, again, the Orb of Winter, one of my favorites. Um, anything that does damage to all enemies or explodes. Um, I would recommend something that explodes so that you can get plenty of mana for Nyarmel. But on the early levels, you probably just want something to do damage to all enemies because it will be faster than using splash damage. So let's go for Queen Mab. Hee <laughs> Ah, oh, I love it. Okay, we're going to do this. And then, see, this guy has more life than this one. So the splash will absolutely take this one out. So we'll take this guy. Ha ha ha. And the nice thing about Nyarmel on this team is... Um, he, let me show you his spell. I'm so visually oriented. So he's going to create three stone blocks when he casts. And every time he casts afterwards, he's going to explode the stone blocks. So you're always going to have some mana coming in. As long as you don't have a weapon that's exploding things, in which case the stone blocks are useless. So that's r why I really, really like this specific weapon for this class trial. You don't have to use it, however. Netherhound's kind of just hanging out here, not being needed, which is cool with me. I'd rather not need him. Oh, I got some extra sigils. How wonderful. 
All right, that means extra experience for me. Because every one of these battles that we do is worth two experience instead of one. Like we get from... Uh, yeah, I know there's skulls there. We only get one experience for each battle that we do on an explorer, but everything else in the game gives you two experience. But my basic goal here is to get mana for the weapon and then just go from there. Ah, oh, I love it. Oh, it's so beautiful. Perfect. I'm thinking I'm not going to be able to take them out with one hit here pretty soon, but we only have one more battle to finish up the video. I'll do the extras. Oh, wait, that was it. That was all. You can end up with extra sigils to get you into the fifth tier of rewards. However, it's really rare to get enough sigils to finish tier five without spending any gems. I've heard it can be done, but I have never had it happen to me. So if you don't lose any Val Ravens and you don't lose any battles, you should be able to finish off round four, which will get you 25 gems, 10,000 gold, and 50 sorcerer experience. And I got another level. Ah, you, you can hang out and watch if you want. I'm gonna grab my look. Oh, Ah, oh, I love that flashing purple star. Okay, up to power level 16. Yay! Let's see. So I need to go up another 10 levels and get another Karakoth pet up to uh, level 20. That's going to be a little bit. But anyway, let's see what kind of bonuses I got on that. Uh, 3.75 tribute reward. Excellent. I'll take it. I will take it. Anyway, I hope that this has been helpful and that you've enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye!